All right, everyone, just want to give a quick disclaimer going in. This was, uh, the audio for this was recorded on a new lavalier mic, which ended up being absolutely horrible. I have replaced it. I'm actually recording this audio on the new one, which from my initial tests seems to be working much better. But I just want to give that warning that the audio in this video is not great at all. I do think my commentary is solid in this one, but I did want to give that disclaimer, like I said. Anyways, hope y'all enjoy, and, uh... And the next few reactions, or a few reactions away, or unboxings away, to get the video right, uh, we will be to the new audio, and it should be working much better. Howdy everyone, and welcome back to the Luna Geeks Out channel. Now, I'm testing out a new lavalier mic. Probably did not pronounce that right. I'm not sure what I did there. And from my tests before, this audio quality with it is, eh, the reviews on Amazon are pretty good, but having it in my hands now, it's not that great. So there is a very good chance audio is not great in this video. Uh, I'm gonna do some audio editing, see what I can do to get the, I guess, levels better and everything. But if it's not great uh, in my next videos like this, uh, I will either have returned to the uh, the mic I've been using, or I will have ordered a uh, wired mic, because this is a wireless one. It was cheap, but reviews were good, but you know, it was a cheap microphone, so you do get what you pay for. But anyways, we are unboxing Demon Hunter's new album, Exile. I ordered the, uh, pre the deluxe CD of it, and I've been waiting for this for so long. I got to see them live last month, which was fantastic, and the album released about uh, just under a week ago at this point and was, was just phenomenal so very happy that this is out so let's uh go ahead and open it up i think i can just go and yes there we go there we go horrible sound but it does open up fairly easily okay there we go there we go so right off the bat, got a shirt with it. I went for the uh, the on my side shirt because it looked like some drip. And man, that is some drip. Would you look at that? Absolute drip right there. I've covered myself. Of course, Demon Hunter logo and the classic skull design. And then some lyrics on it. So now where is the enemy when death is on my side? Fantastic shirt, some excellent drip, glad to have that. That's going in the washing machine uh, today, so I can wear it tomorrow, probably. Uh, yes, very happy about that. That's um, just a receipt for it. Do not care about that. Here we have the album. Let me make sure there's nothing else hidden away in there. No, there is not. On the ground you go. So we've got album here seems to be well packaged so let's get the trusty old m4 bayonet out and cut it open oh that's not a good sound sometimes cutting the tape sounds nice this is not one of those times also i'm i'm definitely not doing this safely so kids do not try this at home there we go there we go this side now there we go and let's see if this can just be ripped it can but i'd feel safer with the knife believe it or not <sighs> shocking i know given my history with these things but there we go there we go um let's package you back up because i can't don't really have the space to set you aside safely uh and man it sucks that uh you know, at the time, I actually feel confident about sort of my speaking in one of these unboxings is the time that the microphone is not great. But we've got some bubble wrap, so let's give that a good pop. Oh, that's some good bubble wrap right there. Let's get real close so y'all can hear it. Oh, that's some good bubble wrap. Box, nothing more in there. Away you go. So, we've got Exile, fancy little cover for it. On the reverse side we have a track listing including the sort of audio interludes I think they called them and then the bonus tracks Sleepwalker and Exile which I am very much looking forward to hearing. 
And of course, there you see the reverse. Very nice. I love the other uh, art on this. It's a very cool style. I believe it comes from the, uh, the comic they wrote alongside this. And oh, on the uh, on the side, I have Demon Hunter Exile Del Deluxe Edition and the little skull logo. Love that little guy. <laughs> So let's see if I can, my fingernails are long enough because I forgot to cut them that I should be able to go ahead and just tear through this, but apparently not. Oh, there we go, there we go. Had to find the right spot where I could get enough depth on it, I suppose. But, but now it's starting to tear. Now it is starting to tear. Excellent, excellent. So, oh, pour right in half. Uh, stop sticking to my fingers and away you go. Did not go in the box. How rude of it. Anyways, anyways, let's uh, slide this out. Anything more hidden away in here? No, there is not. So let's just take a look at it one piece at a time. This, I would assume, is the CD. So let's pull the stuff out. Seems to be a little bit in here. Yes, this is the CD here. Very nice, excellent, um, excellent cover art on this, or CD art, or what have you. Nothing more in there. Of course, you've got sort of two separate designs with this. Uh, I, don't, I would assume that's one of their logos. And then black the hell out. I don't actually know what that means. If well, what it, I suppose has in relation to them. I don't know if it's from one of their songs or anything. It could be from one of the songs on here, and I just haven't noticed it. But there's some other stuff in here. So let's get this out. Nothing else in there. So. Uh, Let's take a look at this one first. Uh, this is the uh, the art print. It was talking about tiny bit smaller than I would have expected, but very cool. And we've got poster of the album art. Of course, this the main cover that y'all will have seen for this. And then we have the sort of alternate covers. That's very cool, right there. I absolutely love this cover uh, for it. Absolutely love that. So that's very cool. And then we have, I suppose this is the lyric booklet and everything. Yes, seems to be, seems to be. So they've got just some different information and everything. Um, lots of uh, sort of description of what exactly is going on with this and stuff. Quite cool, quite cool. Lots of photos of the band. So very cool here, lots lots of good stuff on what exactly the album is about. And oh, would you look at that? Some concept art, it seems. Very nice, very nice. And finally, we have issue one of the Exile comic. Just quickly flipping through that. Not particularly long, it's gonna be uh, uh, four different parts for it, but certainly very cool, very cool. Great contents within this. You know, it's no K-pop album with their absolutely insane levels of various stuff, but uh, certainly lots of good stuff in here. Uh, the, the poster, very cool. It would be nice to have the CD be a sturdier case and um, have that original cover art. But this, you know, I have no complaints about it. It is very cool. So I am planning on having a full-length review of this album sometime in the next few months, hopefully, because there, there is some stuff I really want to talk about with it. But to give my, uh, I suppose, immediate thoughts as I pack this back up, I, of course, cannot talk about the audio interludes or bonus tracks as I've not heard those yet, but that, as the music itself stands, this is a fantastic album. I've not heard where you, where you go in there. I've not heard everything. Demon Hunter have put out yet. This is not cooperating with me. Um, I've not heard everything. That, oh, cut. <laughs> I am struggling for real, for real. Ah! And everything is just fine and against me. I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna review it. 
There we go, there we go. Okay, so I've not heard everything on this, but I, I have heard the main tracks, and it really has two types of songs on here. You have the heavy stuff, uh, Defense Mechanism and um, Freedom is Dead really come to mind with that. And you have the more atmospheric, um, emotional kind of stuff. Tracks like Master or Heaven Don't Cry or Along the Way come to mind for that. And then there are tracks that sort of have some blends of the two. Godless, for example, brings in some uncleans. Uh, there was one other that was like that. Devotion, I think, is sort of a blend between the two. But it's two sort of distinct styles on here that are both quite nice. I normally tend to prefer Demon Hunter's heavier stuff, but I actually really, really liked the softer side of uh, them that came through on this album. Uh, Heaven Don't Cry was actually my favorite track off of here, so the stuff that was like that, of course, I absolutely loved. But just the music on the whole is fantastic, some of the best I have heard from them, and lyrically, uh, well, I haven't really looked into the lyrics on this, and I don't know the full story it's telling and everything. Lyrically, it's actually quite solid. The one track that I don't like the lyrics on is Freedom is Dead, and like the, the idea behind that track, you know, the idea of further division amongst ourselves, the idea of, um, you know, if you don't share my personal opinions and everything, uh, you're my enemy, that kind of thing. I would agree with that. I, I definitely see that kind of, um, that, that, that kind of, I suppose, idea presenting itself right now. Um, but the way it is handled is not great because it very much comes across as the sort of stereotypical far right, but my freedoms kind of thing, which is not great. Uh, the, another song that tackled the same idea is Discourse is Dead by Architects, which is far better of a song, both musically and lyrically. But um, musically, uh, Freedom is Dead is quite nice, just the lyrics really fall flat in that one. But throughout the rest of it, the lyrics, at least from the ones I've read through, seem to be quite nice. There's a lot of stuff that, there, there's certainly some tracks like Master and Godless that are very much Christian songs, right? Those, those are ones that you can't necessarily relate to if you're not a Christian. But there's a lot of stuff on here that does have elements of um, almost broader application, uh, where you it's very much written from the Christian worldview and everything, but it's applicable to a lot of different people. And uh, that is something, something that I quite like in here, that... Um, Especially with it being a concept album, it definitely helps that a decent chunk of the stuff is a bit broader. Of, of course, they, like I said, have their own worldview they're writing through here, and they have their own specific meanings. But a lot of the stuff, I feel like, can have um, some room for interpretation in it, which is quite nice. Uh, so it's... Um, Honestly, being a concept album, it's a bit more accessible to other people than some of their other stuff, I've noticed, because a lot of their stuff is like, some of it is very overtly Christian, which is not a bad thing at all. I mean, I, I'm Christian, and it is nice to have some Christian music that is actually good, but I, this is definitely one that is is more accessible, at, at least from what I've noticed. With, with uh, Master and Godless are really the only tracks that... Admittedly, they're the only ones I've listened to a lot and have really paid a lot of attention to the lyrics in. So it could be more present on other tracks, but those are the only two that I noticed that were really, like, very Christian songs. The rest are, just see, you can tell that worldview coming through in them. But I, I, I do have a full review of this that will be coming eventually. I'm going to need to do some more listens of the album and uh, look into the lyrics some more and everything. I'll have to do some reading through the lyric booklet they have here. And I'll probably read through the comic as well to get an idea for the story that is happening. But, um, yeah, as it is, fantastic album. And then, the, yeah, the stuff in here is quite nice. It would be nice, like I said, to have a sturdier case for the CD. Those little sort of paper sleeves I really don't like. I've got uh, another album in one of those, Creeks Five League and by Starlock like 328, which is just, it's not a great way to store a CD. Fortunately, it is contained within some other stuff, but I'd much rather it be in... Uh, I don't have one of the cases, but it's like those CD cases that, like, it's almost like 
a little sleeve for vinyl record that's just CD sized, that kind of case would be perfect for this. Um, or even one that, I think I've seen some that are literally just like a little sort of a cardboard sleeve or instead of the paper sleeve that isn't even like it folds out. Something like that would be perfect to fit in here. You get the cover art on there and everything and that would be perfect. Uh, that's really my one complaint with uh, the physical uh, attributes of this though. The artwork and everything is fantastic. It's great to have the comic included in here. It's great to have a very in-depth lyric booklet and um, you know, bonus tracks as well, that's really nice. So yeah, on the whole, very, very nice. I am gonna have to give it a listen to see what the other uh, stuff I haven't heard yet is like. But the main album, um, Defense Mechanism, Master, Silence the World, Heaven Don't Cry, Another Place, Freedom is Dead, Praise the Void, Revolutions, Chemicals, Godless, Devotion, and Along the Way. All of those tracks are fantastic. So yes, very, very good album. If y'all have not heard this yet, go and give it a listen. I mean, even if you're not a Christian, it's just some really good metal. Um, and even Freedom is Dead, as much as I do sort of dunk on it, has some really good stuff in it. It's just those lyrics are just a bit too cringy for me. But yes, um, very good album. Cannot wait to uh, talk more about this in my full-length review. But that is going to do it. Uh, if audio was terrible in this video, I do apologize. I will probably... If it is bad, I'll probably have a thing at the beginning just saying, Hey guys, audio is really bad here. Um, stick stick through with it. I said some good stuff in this. Something along those lines. I don't know. But yeah, if audio is really bad in this, um, I will be replacing this mic. If it is just kind of, eh, it works. It's a little low quality. I'll stick with it until I have the money to get a uh, to get a better one and that that will be the um probably the number one priority for making content because some some lighting setups would be nice a better microphone for gaming and stuff would be nice a better camera would be nice um especially one that i can actually mount the uh the microphone to i literally um let me take a picture of it to edit in it's a bit precarious um this this a, la a, la a lavalier mic i think that's how i pronounce it a lavalier mic very important for a lot of what I'm trying to do. Unboxings, of course, having that further mobility, not having to worry about the microphone right in my face. Very important. The ability to stand up and walk around while talking a bit more. I can't do that with my other mic, but every time it moves, it makes a sound, and that's annoying. Um, this right here, very important. So, I will either stick with this with just some not perfect audio until I can get a better one, or I will... Uh, return this and try to get my hands on or look into some solid wired mics because um, that will probably be much easier than a wireless but uh, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but that is going to do it thank you for watching like comment subscribe all that fun stuff full review of this coming in the future i don't know when but full review of this coming in the future so keep an eye out for that and, um, yeah, Devon Towns an unboxing soon, because I pre-ordered that, and it'll be coming in in the future. I don't know when, but keep an eye out for that as well if you're into his stuff. And, uh, yeah, that is going to do it, so thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll be seeing ya.